And we want to be your Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryan Horn, trainer Steven. I'm Pokey Jean. And today we get to cover quite possibly one of the cheapest decks, one of the most effective decks, and overall, like, it just proves how much of a tool we all really are. I uh, hey, so hey, your tool, I per I sharpen the tools. Uh, no. Your tool. <laughs> no, so, you're the tool. I sharpen the tool. All right, all right. So either way, let's jump into a match and let's see what we're going up against. Because this is a list that I... Wait, the Lightning Psychic. Lightning Psychic, yeah. All right, they're going first. Cool. Um, uh, terrific. Let's just hope this didn't go as fast. I, I wonder if this is the... Ooh. I wonder if this is tech, the Pika Rom. This might be Pika Rom. And if so, it's about time we've gone or up Ryko. against. Let's see what we're going up against. So the Pika Rom or Raiko. So. Hopefully, it's not a starter deck. Naganadal, okay. I mean, that was in the starter deck, so. Wait, what starter deck? Avros. Naganadals were in there. We're. No, they weren't in there. We put them in there. Were they? I thought we said... Oh, well. I'm, I'm pretty sure... Sh Editor, double check, because I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the in the original list. Oh, wait. No, or maybe... Oh, yeah, that's right. We dropped the Naga Natals because we realized that the price. Naga Natals weren't actually needed. Or price. The fact that Naga Natals shot up in value. Or they're now, not, they're not getting, they, as much they they're trying to put a stable card in everybody's deck deck boxes, but it was not necessary for the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's pan on a hone edge. Let's choice helmet and pan onto Genesect. Uh, we get no use out of except for shuffle draw uh, and checking the deck and checking the deck. A lot of the stuff is pretty much uh, there. There. We just need a shuffle draw. Yeah, we, we just got need... the shuffle. Now we just need the draw. At least DCE. And just... We don't need anything else. Do we get another? Right now we need. We're opening up with ninety. So, plus their tools. Yep. We just uh... need draw. We need draw. This is not looking good. Like, don't get us wrong. We can still pull this off, but it's not looking good right now. Well, it's not showing the case it was against... Uh, it was against... A, te a testing against CPU is giving us, the, the perfect hand. Like, in... Okay, we so we're going to be asleep. Uh, what was it? Six to, we had six to nine tools within, like, turn three. Because we couldn't put more out on the field because we were at max yield yeah. on our side. Yeah, so the Genesect is a deck that I've been that we end up showing you a little bit of. Uh, I was actually thinking about running it with uh, the no, we're Gorgeist. Asleep. We're not asleep, even though they could have done the ability to sleep. Yeah, they should have done the sleep. Evolve. Yeah. Well, maybe so it, it might be a structure deck. Like it's I really so. looking. It might be a structure deck. I feel sorry. <gasps> Jasmine. If only we need. If only that we got it last turn on our second t turn two. Because we would have gotten five. I know, like, that would have been a perfect turn one. But well, we don't need it. But we we're, we're not getting the knockout yet, unless he puts a tool. Resistance. Resistance it's, is a thing. I know. But at least he knows. Uh, but at least we got our dual blade. So now that we got our dual blade and a little survivability, we're, we're looking good. Not great, but we're looking good. Now we just need shuffle drop. 
or another Jasmine. Or a Nest Ball. Or there's a couple. Draw. There's a couple things we need. Shuffle draw. Shuffle draw. Come on. Shuffle, shuffle draw. draw. I'll take shuffle draw over the other three that Steven mentioned, unless one of them was shuffle draw. Ooh, going they're gonna the stall. They're going for the stall. They're going for the GX. Okay. We got to retreat, but thing is, I really don't have to use DC to retreat unless I have to. Right. Come on, shuffle draw. Come on, shuffle draw. Okay, so they're gonna retreat. Oh, they're not gonna retreat. Why? We got a Honage. DCE on Honage. I was hold on to it, but oh well. So, adventure. Well, you're gonna be shoveling the deck twice, anyways. Adventure back. Get a tool fort. One of the pans or goggles. I don't think we're dealing with GXs, being if it is a starter deck. So, just putting a pan or goggles on it. I'm thinking goggles. Yeah, pass. And pass. Come on. <sighs> unless, unless it's slowing our down our deck, knowing that we're up against the starter deck. Mm hmm. Well, right now we're just not getting our shuffle draw for some reason. This is it's deciding it's not gonna want. To, it's not wanting to show off. But let's see. I think we have what four to six, and the and the other reason I think this is a uh, built on start, starter deck, Kukui, because no one actually runs Kukui, unfortunately. Even fisherman and fisherman's in the deck, and that was the baby Ampros. Now the retreat and then the split bomb, and really he he'll well, actually with well, the pants first paralyzed with the pants he'll need two, and with the pants he'll only need. Two. He'll need uh, to shoot twice, or three times. One will probably be the Genesect. So. Uh, Energy on Genesect. Gotta get him out of there. Shuffle the deck. We need shuffle draw. We need shuffle draw. Give me the lily. Shuffle draw, lily. I mean, come on, give us something. At least, well, there goes split bomb again. Yeah, so. split bomb. Get the genesect. They're only doing third. They're only doing twenty per target. So. Oh, choice band. Never mind. <sighs> Dang it. Shuffle draw. Shuffle. Shuffle and end. Come on. He said, no, you can't be going this fast. Stop it. Come on. That choice band is actually affecting the odds. Yeah, it's pretty much getting around the pan. Since right, it is getting around the pan. Or it is neutralizing the pan. What? Wait. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, Honage. Oh, DCE on Gen or uh, Energy you know Retreat. Why? Was I think there was a Kuku we played last turn. I I think there was. Uh, so we'll goggles, we'll dual blade, and smash because we have no other option but to smash. <gasps> Cutting it close, Pokemon. Cutting it close. Yeah, that's. <sighs> Thank you, frying pan. No, the fact he uh, he kukui last turn, mm -hmm. which added twenty more damage. Yep. This turn he didn't have that, that extra twenty damage. But without that frying pan, we would have been hurting. Yeah, that's why I, I told you to put four on each of each back in. Okay, so dual blades get knocked out. We can deal with the dual blade getting knocked out. Whew. Is it? I get knocked out. Resistance plus resistance. Oh, okay. I I Genesect. Genesect. Who? Uh, DC on a Honage. Cynthia. We don't need Taillights at this point yet. Adventure bag. Adventure bag. Boom boom. You know what? So we don't need it's, choice bag. It's double pan. I, I, I don't want to risk losing my other the other genocide. Uh, by the way, the goggles are pants too. 
The uh, goggles are. Boom. Steven, Steven, Steven. Steven. I, goggles I, or pants too. I, I know, I know. You I only know, need I know. one. All right, so. You only need one to get both effects. Please don't scoop. Yeah, once this deck gets going, it goes. I mean, this is almost like uh, it's pretty much the uh, the duck trio list like all over again. Yes. Because it's so cheap, it's so effective because no one was using the Genesect. But now, actually, the Genesect actually climbed up a little bit just because of it. Now, now we're losing a dual blade. Oh no! Now he can he can actually hit the number. Just to open up the bench for more. And actually, Stretcher for the Dual Blade. And Jasmine for the other Genesect. No, that's Hone Edge. Oh, dang it. I know. Well played. You have a good deck. Smiley face. And then, uh, well, Jasmine. Jasmine. At this point, I think we can. I think we can set... Uh, do a turn or two and just set up another Genesect. Because I think it doesn't carry resistance, so we are getting the knockout on that. Boom! 180, 180. This, we have six tools in play. Yeah, that's just our tools. Yes. And that's really the only tools you have access to c controlling. Mm hmm. And I think we. Um, with three Genesects, our max yield is nine. So. And there, there's the scoop. All right, so we're going to take a look at the list, and we'll be right back. And it was All right, and we are back uh, with quite possibly a list that I have not been so excited about since the Alolan Doug Trio list, and that's Dual Blade. This thing is hilarious, and I was actually disappointed that I did not pull all the pieces necessary at the pre-release. Uh, so much like the Alolan, uh, the Alolan Geodude deck, or not Geodude, uh, Dig Doug Trio, Doug Trio, the Alolan Doug Trio deck, where you did thirty times the number of energy discarded. You need a lot of utility to keep it moving. Yeah, this is kind of running the same thing, where it does thirty times the number, or for each Pokemon tool card attached to all Pokemon. So instead of keeping track of six to eight energy per turn, you're just keeping track of six to eight tools on the field. Yep. Well, at least that's on your side. But okay, remember, because you can only control your side. But again, it's all Pokemon. Yes. So even your opponent, choice wishful band. batons, choice bands, uh, helmets, uh, counter gains, all of them. You you do more damage. Oh, a skateboard that's starting to see play because of Jirachi. That yep. adds too. On top of that, we pair it with Genesect uh, because the fact it holds on to two to, uh, Pokemon tools. I was thinking about running four, but to be perfectly honest, it only needs three you know, to the, be truly the effective. The only thing I can see Genesect, the, this deck using for Genesect only to hold experience share. Yeah, I so can. So all the extra energy on Hone Edges and Dual Blades go down to them. Yeah, that I can. Isn't do, the double colors. I could easily so see that. So they can attack eventually if they have to. And that 190 GX and no resistance. And this is quite possibly my new favorite, uh, one of my new favorite supporters. Because of the fact, search your deck for a metal Pokemon and put it into your hand. If you go second on your first turn, search for five metal Pokemon. So this deck optimizes going second. Metal Pokemon, metal Pokemon, metal Pokemon. So this deck will go second always, mm -hmm. if given the option. Yeah, and just if, for the option of Jasmine. Yep, and if you watched our Friday video, you kind of see where we're going with uh, first or second. This is definitely a deck you want to go second every time. You can go first, but let's be real, you want to go second. We'll leave it for our Friday video. Yeah, but uh, yes. you you already saw the Friday video. Hopefully, if you haven't, check out the the link up top. Yes, but. Uh, so yeah i mean this is a pretty straightforward list runs a lot of tools a lot of shuffle draw and a lot of speed so without further ado we'll just break down the list we run three genesect gx again it's more or less to hold on to the two pokemon tools i uh, we can use it as a backup attacker if needed but it's gonna pale in comparison to a 4-4 dual blade i mean if you really want to use them as attackers experience here yeah. Wishfuls, but otherwise not needed. Exactly. So so 90 HP stage one 
for a DCE does 30 times each Pokemon tool card attached to all Pokemon. So the more tools you got, the more damage you're doing. Uh, I think with the math we figured out, you're having a minimum of nine on your side of the field. Nine times three is 270 plus the tool effect. So twice man just for hitting 300. Yeah, you're and 300 now irrelevant to hit to do because Venusaur plus Aether is 30 and 300, and uh, of course Magikarp mm -hmm. boasting 300 hit points. So here's pretty much what it comes down to. If you are not knocking it out, you are really, really, really hurting them. I think the only thing you wanted to be getting a clean knockout unless both sides had uh, tools attached would be Wailord. And honestly, if, if certain Pokemon like Venusaur and Wailord are really a problem for your meta, your area of meta, just drop in a mine. They can't actually roll it back out. They had to max potion. Yep. So yeah, we run a 4-4 uh, dual blade. You. You could run the Age of Slash and maybe a Memory Energy. That way, you have a little bit more H. You have more HP. Uh, maybe another attack to use from. But are they trying to resist? It, are they trying to resist your damage? And you know, Age of Slash says no. I'm hitting for 100 regardless. Of what happens? But even then, like when you're hitting for 300, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but again, that is a viable option. But to be perfectly honest, I'm just running a clean 4 4 and it does what it needs to high do. High risk equals high reward. Yep. Uh, we run two Magirna. Uh, it's a 90 HP basic. Uh, once during you your can turn, move tools you can around. move a tool. So if you need choice ban on dual, dual blade, put a choice ban on dual blade. Yeah, you put a, or you put a choice ban on, but realize they don't have the GX anymore. You pop it up for a frying pan. Or you know, or a choice or you're, helmet. Or you're gonna lose the dual blade anyway. Take the pan off, put on a helmet instead. Or yes, choice. so it gives you whatever tool you need at the time. Or maybe you just need to double double pan the Genesect oh. uh, or yeah. something along those Some lines. Some utility. What's nice about those metal goggles? We'll get to it in a bit. Yeah. So and that's all the Pokemon are. It's just right. three Genesect, four four dual blade, and two Magirna. We run two Adventure Bag because you get to search your deck for two Pokemon tool cards. We need Pokemon tool cards, oh. so this uh, gets them into our hands so that I we can realize, hit harder. I also realized in that last battle, there's a reason why he wasn't able to attack Dual Blade. We'll, go, we'll get to it a bit. Okay. Uh, Adventure bag, because your your life is tools. Your life is tools. Uh, we run two Nest Ball. Uh, this is more or less to get out a Honez, the Magirna, or a Genesect if we need it. Uh, again, we're, shuffled, we're shuffling our hands so much that we almost don't need it, but we want to have that little uh, that little speed just in case. Uh, two rescue stretchers so that we can bring frail. back. You're yeah, frail. The, you need pieces. The dual blades are frail. The uh, the Genesex have a little more survivability. The Magirna has a is a little fragile, so this just kind of gets them back if we need them. Uh, we run two Bills Analysis, which is a card that just came out in this set. Half your tools or items. Look at the top seven when cards. Half your car trainers or items. Exactly. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Reveal two trainers you find there. Put them into your hand. Yes. I mean, I see no. That's nest ball. That's bag. That's all your tools. That's I a mean, double that's bag that, to I get mean, four tools. I, I mean, mean, your tools are all that's in the deck. Yeah, I mean, it's either tools or shuffle draw, so that's pretty much the best and way Jack to go. And Banner is essentially the ultra ball for the deck, so... Uh, we run one box grit, just in case we need to bring back uh, Pokemon or supporters, like if we're really oh, starting to fall Pokemon, behind. Or energy. Oh, yeah, sorry, energy or Pokemon. Uh, we run three Cynthia. We run Cynthia. Three, three, three of the three main girls. Uh, we run two Jasmine. Again, we're trying to get her turn one so that we can get a full setup. If you get but, turn one, setup. But even just finding the one can be really, really helpful when you need it. Especially when you're opting out Ultra Ball in order to make sure you have more tools so Ex you can draw into them. Exactly. Uh, three Lily, because a lot of because we're going to be hopefully playing a lot of our tools. We just want to be able to draw and get cards in hand. Uh, Tate and Liza, shuffle utility. draw, utility. shuffle draw or switch if we need it. Shuffle draw and utility. And now we get to the tools. We run fifteen tools. Yeah, fifteen tools. Choice band for power. Three choice band for more brute force. We run four choice helmet for a little survivability. And we did resist versus dumbbells because dumbbells they can exhaust the Pokemon versus pans they had to break thirty to put ten on. 
Yeah. Although dumbbells isn't a bad choice. So if you don't have, say, the goggles or enough helmets, you could supplement yes. those with the dumbbells. And it's because of weakness, but the thing is all fire Pokemon could probably knock you out anyways. Yeah. So Charizard hits 130, minus 30 is still 100. Exactly. So it's still knocking you out. But weakness, no weakness is a thing. They had to have one more energy to knock you out. Mm -hmm. Now, goggles. Read goggles. Read goggles. All right. The metal Pokemon on this card to test to takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks, and your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on it. This shuts down spread. Now, you think, why do you think that the, uh, that wonderful little Ampharos couldn't hit the dual blade? These are like so you because got the, that, yeah, right. so you got the so goggles. You have, metal, you have a pan and a goggles on Genesect. They can't snipe it out. Mm -hmm. They can't use it as a sniping option. Gear, gear tan can't throw damage counters around. Lele can't move it. Coco can't spread damage on it. Coco can't spread. That's not Onto bad. those Pokemon. Yeah. So you pretty much have defense, 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 offense. Yes. And you go, here, Magirna, I need offense. Pop. And why two Magirna? Uh, in Get case. Pole tool, pull tool, swap them. Yep, and even if one gets prized or anything it's else like utility. that. Utility. It's utility. Uh, you, you so, could, yeah. Argument you could probably run Jirachi, but the thing is, I would opt some room for a skateboard, but that's about it. Yeah. So, I think bills are taking their spots, though. It, yeah. So, if you didn't pull any bills, you could easily just Jirachi a skateboard. But Jirachi is almost as hard to pull as Bill itself. So, so it comes down to whatever you have. If got, you, you had to trade for all your bills, and you only pulled two Jirachi. I know, right? So, so yeah, it comes down to I think that the Bill and the Jirachi are pretty. Uh, I think they're pretty interchangeable. If you didn't pull Bill, run Jirachi a skateboard. If you didn't pull Jirachi, but you got Bills, run the Bill. Uh, we run four double colorless energy one per, and one per dual du blade. And we run eight metal energy just in two, case. Two for dual blade. Two for dual blade I or mean, three for Genesis. Argument: You can run memory energy for Age of Slash. That's about the only thing. Otherwise, now, ability. now the thing is, is there's a lot of variants. There's obviously the psychic cone edge, which if you do I damage, mean, if if it's knocked out by an attack, you put three damage counters I do on. Like, I do like the one you mentioned about the one psychic and spread thir thirty across your opponent's field. Yeah, but thing is, you don't. That's more of a counter or a yeah. two tool drop. Yeah, that's more either a you're going up against the mirror, which would be a good card to use for the mirror. Or you use it, uh, use or anything weak to psychic. Rainbow and unit energy are options, so. Yeah. But even then, this is just a straightforward metal list. Uh, I, I think the most expensive card out of this is either going to be the Blade, or either the Genesect or the Bill, are going to be your two most expensive cards in this deck. Uh, right now, it looks like Bill is probably the most, ex other than Lily, is the most expensive card in this set, in the deck, so. Yeah. Well, okay, okay. Cynthia. But normally. Bill would be because Bill is right now new and only is foil rare. Yeah, so I would assume Bill or Genesect are going to be your two most expensive. Then but we even had to get then, two of ours from trade, and I'm, uh, in real life we pulled two or three, and I've been trying to hook them because unlike Erica, um, with Erica, there's Lily. Lily is it's a toss up between the two. However, you do have um one's a, one side. You do have Steven. You do have Steven's resolve, which was a rare to pull, but now a lot of people have it. And but it like was that. also a bleak promo, which helped. It's it did it help case to be in main play. Yeah, so that's pretty much the list. Uh, we kept it pretty simple. Uh, again, this is going to be one where you can just move and add stuff in as you need it. But honestly, just as is, it's still pretty good. So we'll jump into another match, and we'll see if we can get another win. All right, so let's see what we go up against. Psychic Colorless Met uh, Electric. Yeah, they use a Dragon Coin. Intriguing. All right, so... What are the types? It was Psychic Colorless. Psychic? Psychic Colorless? Psychic Colorless Lightning. Uh, this could be better. I mean, it's still playable, but we could. Maybe we would want to have at least one more. Uh... Oh. Started it. Well, with a with Aether of Paradise, it's Raichu. Oh, I, I'm I'm really really thinking it's Raichu. 
So we'll Honage, we'll Frying Pan on the Lily Honage, we'll Lily for four. For nothing. But <laughs> why? I know. But hypothetically, turn two, that can be a Genesect. We can be hitting a minimum 90. Mm hmm. Well, minus resistance. Who's counting? Dude. Wow. And they have to peek a draw. Well, let's, let's not. So, Honage. Honage. Jasmine. Jasmine. Go right for it. Yep. Genesec. Attach, attach. And do a void. Hold on. Good. We use Jasmine. So. Attach. Attach. Metal on the Genesec. Tool drop for. Oh. 40. Resistance. Oh. Oh, and the stadium. stadium. Uh, oh, there's the Coco. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we should put the, the energy on Honage. Yep. Oh, well. I'm still pretty sure we got this. Like, well, all there, things there. considered, I'm still pretty sure we got this. Okay, that's going to make things a little bit more difficult. Choice ban on the bench, Janisex. Uh... But we got 15 tools, and we only technically need nine on the field, so... Well, we have none on the field, so... We have one on the field. Well, okay, we have none. None on the field. I was counting. Oh, we, you, we got it. Why do you think he hit the bench one? He had the numbers. Dual blade. Do not attach energy. Cynthia. Will Cynthia hopefully get the DCE? Nope. No, but we at least got a put, it dub, put a double on. Let's fish out more. Put a double on Genesec. Double on Genesec. We're going to lose dual blade. Why put stuff on it? He's hitting 100 on, with resistance. That is true. 130 normal. So it's it's okay. Magirna. Not what I was hoping would happen. It doesn't really matter, but Magirna is less of an impact for the deck. Yeah. So probably let's see. Oh, hey, Choice Alma. We at least gave her a little survivability. I uh, will Cynthia. Cynthia for. There it is. For nothing. For nothing. Oh, throw DC up on Genesec. Except it needs two so, metal. Yeah. So. No, yeah, true. We can at least get a Coco next turn, theoretically. Well, cause, but the thing is, Aether Paradise adds to the resistances that we can't ignore. This is very true. We'll see. So we need a top deck being full. So we need a McGarren and a Choice Pan. Or someone. I guess we'll Tate and Liza, because that's all you gave us. McGarren at. Oh, yeah, Hone Edge. Genesec, Hone Edge. Uh, Megirna. Stretcher. We won't get the knockout, but we'll... Megirna. I just realized we could also play that a little differently, too. Yeah, we could have. back in the deck, but the thing is the... Well, they're... As so long as it's three energy, they're still not getting knocked out no matter what they do, so. That is true, because we're at least resisting 60 currently. Well, and his GX tag's only doing 150, so. So 70, okay. Nest ball for. Now would be a good time for that Jirachi. Yeah, now would be a great time for a Jirachi. Or a shuffle draw. I think we just retreat and give it Magirna. <laughs> give her the DC. Well, obviously. No point in kind of giving it resistance when it's already getting knockouts. Here's pretty much what ne what needs to happen. We need to top deck Cynthia or Tate and Liza. We need to top deck Shuffle Draw. In that Shuffle Draw, we need Dual Blade and a DCE. If we do not get those things, we lost. We got the shuffle draw. Oh, Arceus, here are our prayers. We got the DCE. Uh, where to attach it to? 
There's nowhere to really attach. Well, let's just play it on play the obvious. There's no place to no point of putting it over there to get Bill. Oh, can't stall. So. <sighs> I was thinking retreat the hone edge, give them the Magirna, use the Bill's analysis to hopefully... For next turns. Dang it. So we got part of what we needed. We needed the... We got half! We just needed the dual blade. If we had the dual blade, we could have done something. Ugh. <sighs> Something tells you putting it. Give him a genocide tail. Take him. Take him two hits to knock two to three hits to knock one out. So. Yep. Metal. I was gonna put it on the other one, but. Cynthia. Pan. Cynthia and Pan. Put a pan out, and then we'll have Cynthia for next turn. Wow, this is just not right. Do the, good uh, on the first game, tank on the second game. <laughs> not just tank. They give you all the options in the wrong order. Type. I know. One, two, he needs one more. No, he doesn't. GX attack. Yep. Well played. Well, unfortunately. All right. Let's, okay, we got to fix that. Let's, let's see if we can get a better turn one. I think getting the Jasmine on the draw was like, it was bad. All right, here we are with another match. Fairy, Sylveon. fairy colorless, Sylveon. Uh, Tails. You lost the coin flip. Okay. Unless it's unless it's straight up Garbar with a Ranguru. Uh, I see it more being uh. Ow. Well, obviously Magirna. Obviously, Magirna. Oh, put up goggles. We had to do Bill. Top deck Jasmine. When you have to start with Bill. Top deck Jasmine. Even worse. So then it really has to fight. Okay, Gramble. It's not Gramble. Yes, it is. No, because Gramble doesn't run uh, a Zoomerel. So it's not traditional Gramble. But look at what it, what it had. Gramble. I... Yes. I don't care. Sin put a tool. Put a tool on Magirna. Cynthia. Cynthia. I I was grabbing. Not Lily. Cynthia. Not Lillying for one. There's Hone Edge. Hone Edge. DCE on Hone Edge. Choice I helmet. Know, we, I see. We can always just Magirna back off. So. Exactly. Maybe grab a pan. Honestly, though, that zoom roll that just came out needs to see way more play. One it's, came from Lost Thunder. Mm -hmm. I think it will. I have a deck idea for it. All right. Well, here's the accelerated Merrill for nothing. All right. So we'll dual blade. If one of those had been an energy. If one of those had been an energy. So we kind of put them on a timer, though. Yep. Come on, give us a Cynthia. Because I have a deck idea for the fairies here in the for the next set. No. Oh. Okay. Why, why wait? Oh, we're fly around. No, they're going to retreat for the Meryl. Are they going to Zoomerel then attacking? No, they're going to... What is this deck? Uh, adventure bag. Adventure bag. Grab pan and a goggles. Pan and goggles. We will ch take off the change clothes. We don't need the helmet. We can just throw on the goggles. Goggles are probably just better. Total this drop is for sixty. The baby decks are actually about where the age of slash would pick up. Because dual blade is nice, or. And Age of Slash is good for the, the games where it, do, the game's just trolling you. Mm-hmm. As you very well saw. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Oh, scoop. 
I guess nobody's gonna let us. You know what? Tools. Let's we'll do one more game, win, lose, or scoop. This is this is what we'll do. So we'll be right Check. back. All right, so we're back. Solid water versus solid uh, solid steel. <sighs> Probably blast. I'm guessing blastoise, blastoise but list. blastoise what? Either blastoise or just straight up Gyarados. It could be straight Gyarados. Uh, would we like to go first? And then traditional Gyarados user runs a ditto. So no, we'll go second. Does he have a f another magic card? That's iffy. That is very iffy. Well, let's do it. Let's do the obvious play. Honage. Helmet on a Magirna. Mm-hmm. Helmet good. on Magirna, Cynthia. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's the only play to do. Straight Oops. up water. It's either Blast Racer or, or <laughs> Gyarados. But he didn't go first. He didn't go second. Nope, so he's not getting a... He, he wants set up first. Uh, gee, I wonder why. Oh, there's going to be the... Uh... Cloister? Gyarados yeah. Cloister? So. What did that go the Cloister do? Comes into play and paralyzes on him. Is that the one that comes in and paralyzes on impact? I don't think so. It didn't have an ability. No. It, no, it, like, when, it, when something evolved this turn... No, I, we'll, no, we'll see the Cloister. I think Heads is... Heads is 60, tails is paralyzed, I believe. It's the one from base set. Oh, yeah, that is like the only cloister, isn't it? Reference. All right, Lily. Before things really pick up. All right, Nest Ball. They're probably grabbing another Magikarp, that or a Shelter. Especially now that we know that they got a cloister in the deck. And don't worry, we're working on a Gyarados list. I think we already got it. Ooh, Artifuno. Artifuno. Intriguing. Yeah, they nest balled it so they don't get the effect. All right. Unfortunately. Our turn. Cool. Uh, so it's just a water box deck with Gyarados. Metal on the Honage. Choice Helmet on the Magirna. Well, Cynthia. When it shows up. We will Genesect. We will Honage. We will Nest Ball. Genesect. We will Genesect. We will adventure bag. Uh, no, not pants. Goggles. Go Two goggles. Oh yeah, that's right. It can snipe, can it? Two goggles. It does not not factor sniping. It's just goggles is better protection. <laughs> oh, I would put them on, both on Genesex. Both on Genesex. Well, yep. all right then. There's no point having them on edge yet. On the other one, and then cut down. Keep them from evolving. And that's the cloister it was. Yeah, headlock, 30, flip a coin. If that's 30, down. tails, paralyze, and then guard press. Okay. Just something. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Water box. Yeah. Water box deck with the Articuno. I mean, look at that art. It's some good art. I like me some good art. I still have the full, I like the full art better, though. It shows all the blue better, but. If it's your favorite Pokemon, we're on the Chinese version you can find. Oh, yeah. Always. I mean, that's what I would do with Rhyperior. If they had one. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but Pokemon, I, I hate to break it to you, but the ability Rhyperior, while it's good, only works just reprint with level X, make it a GX. Like, I could probably craft the card. Here's the card. Do you see how easy it is? While he's rambling. No, like it would be super easy just to do. Uh, have the GX. I would just have Geodude right here tag team. Be done with it. There's that too. All right. So the other thing is, it also make it absurdly expensive. It it would, but let's be honest. I'm the only one who's like obsessed about right I I really don't see anyone else running it. Unfortunately. Hey, it's not my fault. All your Pokemon end up getting like the good treatment, and mine just suck. I got one. <laughs> but they're losing a lot of their utility. But they still got six. We got a hone edge. Fortunately, I was. I have this feeling we're gonna be fine. Nest ball. I have Another this. Hone edge. I have this feeling we're gonna be fine. Little Cynthia. You need to stop feeling. 
Well, fine. Uh, Probably pan because we don't need weakness up on this deck. Pan. Oh. This guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the goggles on the benched one or on the Genesec because we don't need the goggles as much. Goggles, Genesec, energy. Let's try to slow it down. Want well, a deck that runs a lot of energy, anyways. Yeah, but we can still at least slow it down. He's forced to put the energy on the Gyarados. And if I keep getting rid of it, he's not going to have... You attach it on Articuno. See, we now have an ineffectual uh, Gyarados right here. Looks like it is a modified Blastoise list. Looks like just, they just took the Blastoise out. Or we just haven't seen it yet. Any part of it. Huh. Shuffle draw. Like I said, this gold duck, it's good, but it's gonna be very, very circumstantial. It's, like, a, it's a rainbow energy hunter. I think so. Because it's the only water energy any deck would run. Cynthia. We don't need the Magirna, so it's just Cynthia. You need dual blade and energy. Is energy? There is there, is there a dual blade in the discard? There is dual not blade. a dual blade in the discard. No, we got a bill though. Bull Honage. Energy on the benched one. On a benched one. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can do right now. There's no energy attached. Oh, they, they have to have two energy now to attach, right? No, they still just need one. Oh, you're on the thunder. I hoping they need one more addition. No, 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 that's the Gumi list, and oh, don't worry, oh, oh, oh. we don't worry, we probably will run the Gumi list. Probably? And by probably, it means we will. It just means that once everything else is out of the way, Gumi mm -hmm. will be a thing. Yeah, but we gotta get through the hype stuff first. What hype? It's already been done in Japan. <laughs> yeah. But even then, you know like... It hasn't been done in, done in Japan yet? Gumi? Neither is Love Bugs. Well, because I, I like to think I did the, I did love, love bugs, bugs first because love bugs doesn't work around uh, Marshadow, and if it did, only Marshadow can work with Marshadow. No, it's because there's no Pokemon that can break the power of love. Well, then again, Marshadow isn't there for love. All right, so come on. I would very much like a shuffle draw to get a dual blade and energy. Thank yeah, you. draw. And an energy. And we got energy every time. We get part of what we need. Why, why put Pan on there? So you're getting knocked out anyways. Put it on the bench. Yeah, but you can still try to cut it down. Oh, I will always try to cut it down. Cut. If we prized. If we oh. prize all four of those hone edges, uh, I'm going to be upset. I never do this, but use Bill. Just so we can have a chance to draw seven cards to see if there's at least one in the deck. Communication could also help this deck, too. Uh, we draw, we, I we, do. How many times have we had McGarren in hand, but no... Any with anything? Yeah, else? that that would be another uh, another addition you can make to the deck. Probably, actually, if you can't get the bill, probably uh, actually follow the communication. Think about it. With the exception of Articuno, you can you can almost call this a Misty's list or Prima. Almost. Or Lorelei, whichever part of the anime you're part. It, I think it was supposed to be a Lorelei, but they mixed the they merged the two names. Either way, Lorelei was an amazing trainer. Just Lily. Unless we top deck the dual blade. Dual blade. The DCE. I don't, I don't do DCE first. I don't care. Uh, I did own edge. We oh, are, no, 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 yeah, so we could Lily for three. Sh we get Lily, or Shuffle, Shuffle Draw, or Bill. for five, or Bill. But the thing is, Bill, we don't have Ultra Ball, so we don't do Bill. I'm going to take Liza. 
Actually, your ultra ball could be uh, communicator communications. Why? I am now like eighty percent convinced that we topped at or that we prized all our hone edges. No, dual blades. Or our in dual two, blades in two games. You know what? We will retreat for the Magirna because why not? I, I, I need my dual blade. Add 23 cards, all four are evading. And we have three hone edges in the discard. I have this weird feeling they got prized. I'm going to try some. Well, Lily. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to Lily. And How many the DCs best. have been used? Uh, one, and we're Two. probably going to lose the second with the Magirna. Probably. We are going to lose the second one with the Magirna. Well, with, with the helmet, he's hitting 100, so. Yeah, because it just resists 30, doesn't it? Well, actually, we'll serve, we'll serve no, 130 it, minus, yeah. Yeah, 130 minus 30 is 100. Next which would is be 100, good. which is still be knockout. Mm -hmm. So, Hone Edge and Lily. Lily is right now the only option. Yep. Unless, and communication would be helpful for the deck. Because right now we could be doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We could be doing 180. Yes. On weakness. Yeah. Uh, Hone Edge. Lily. Lily. We're not the only we're not the only one seeing this, right? How is it two games that dual blade is nowhere to be found? Uh, and that's the fourth hone edge. If we top deck a dual blade out of this knockout. One to be hilarious, two to be sad. And we know there's RNG involved. Hospitality, okay. Come on. Good thing that uh good thing that Sweetkin's not active. They could force us to switch. Come on. Oh, that's what that's what he's trying to do. Make sure all that's in the deck is energy. Come on, give us something. No, give us something. Top deck's a dual blade. Give him the one the double. You serious? <laughs> nope, nope, I ain't doing it. Nope, I'm done. We're not the only ones seeing this. We got through all four Hone Edge, right? Yeah. All four. And after the fourth one's knocked out, what's the one thing we top deck? What? Dual Blade. And now we're drawing him too. <laughs> no, bad deck. You do not get away with this. Uh, uh no, you're going to timeout. Looks like it just did. Oh! You pimp. <laughs> All the viewers can see that see this too. You know, there's players that accuse us of being salty and I uh, like salty moments. This Yo, counts. This is a salt mine.
Except our that's our third DCE, isn't it? But not the fourth. But not the fourth, yeah. Because no, in our luck, and especially how this game's been going, it's right there. I am almost 100% convinced it is right there. And the prizes. <sighs> I love that I hate this game. You had to do right. it dirty like that. Three dual blade are now on hand. Of all the salty plays of all the games that I have played, Unfortunately, this one has got me the saltiest. Grass weakness. The only thing that's weak to this deck is in the active. And everything else there can pretty much one shot. Mm-hmm. This can just troll us to the rest of the game. I'm hoping for at least not getting Articuno. Yeah. I... But, and he can, and right as of right now, he cannot race this to the end. Because, de uh, top deck versus top deck, we will eventually. Well played. You have a good deck. Angry face. No. But I'm salty. You can be salty all you want. We're not gonna go out like that. Even though now we have to. All the dual blades were in the deck and they wait until all the hone edges are knocked out. Thing is if I don't retreat, I get knocked out. But if I retreat, I'll lose a DC. And there isn't another DCE in the deck. Right. Well, we have more energy, but thing is, yeah, that's... We, we have more energy, but our DCEs are There's gone. One more DCE. We have one more DCE, which is probably in the prizes. There's at least one metal energy. Oh wait, we don't have a way to switch. Yeah, we do. They're on the prize Discord. We have three, three, three. Well, Janice, that's the only way we're going to be able to increase the number of turns between game. You know, we'd have no switches. Yeah, let's see what's in the deck. It's top seven, but still. All right, so DCE is We eminent. have one more turn. So I'm going to pull out anything I can grab to keep it out of the deck. Yep. So this just comes down to this next turn. Mm-hmm. If we don't top deck DCE, this is over. Yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. And actually, wait, no. And they can get the revenge on us, couldn't they? I think the only, wait, no. That, so depending on how much of this is energy, this can get the knockout. This would have to work get the knockout. This they can stall us out for. And right now they have more cards in deck than we do. Well, they're playing Lady right now to grab energy, to grab one. So we're so, now tied, but then going in our turn, we're drawn first, and we're still. I'm still trying to get stuff out on the field. Mm -hmm. So the only thing we're drawing is energy. Unless they and just actually, realize the Gyarados isn't going to do anything. Unless that's not what their point is. Unless, that, unless they're going hyper beam. Yep. So we need a draw all here. <laughs> Ace of Roll would be handy right now. A lot of stuff would be handy right about now. Like Dual Blades are about 20 turns ago. Well played. You have a good deck. Broken Heart. Smiley face. Whatever. Oh well. Oh, oh well. That's the game.
Unless he just wants to be weird and actually just use the GX stack. We, we could use one of those. Hyperbeam. Yep. For 70. Because this does ignore it. This only ignores that stuff. And we lose the energy. I really want to see the top deck with a DCE. No one or luck that was going to be the case. So, either way, let us know what you guys thought of the list or uh, press F to pay your respects. Go down in the comments while you're down there. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Potown here yourself. RNG is a thing. I, I will... No, there's RNG and then there's a salt mine that we just wandered into. How could how could that be if RNG is not a thing? We roll the nat two. Either way, go down in the comments, press F to pay your respects, and tell us what changes you would make to the deck. While you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town Hero yourself. Hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore Town underscore Heroes. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Poe Town Heroes. As always, may all your games go well. May the top deck be in your favor, and pray you're not you don't get salt like this. Uh, take it easy. This is gonna do a nat one.